Hello Aquarius, this is your Mars and Cancer reading. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Okay, and this is for anywhere you have Aquarius in your chart, whether it is a Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, whatever, North Node sign, or if you're looking at that actual house where you have Aquarius cusp in your chart, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below should this video resonate for you and how. If this video does not resonate for you, thank you so much for stopping by. There are other videos in this series that you can actually pay attention to and watch that can actually support you um, on this channel. Thank you so much. Now, um, Mars and Cancer has a lot to do with you um, acknowledging or taking accountability or action toward your true feelings, your psychic abilities, as well as reflecting on your private emotions. Are you moving forward or moving backwards? Okay, make sure you give attention to your inner dialogue when you ask yourself that question. Okay, now with the Tarot of the Divine, I'm going to be asking what do you need to focus on? Why is it hard? How can you hack it? And what is the advice which we're going to pull from the Mystic Rebel Oracle deck? So, all right, let's get into it. Aquarius energy. What do you need to focus on, Aquarius? We have the star. Look at you. It's only Aquarius that got this. I'm so excited. Okay. So, obviously, you need to be focused on yourself. Okay. Focus on yourself. Okay, Aquarius. Focus on yourself. All right. You need to be focused on what it is that you truly wish for, what you truly hope, what you truly need to feel like you need to heal from. I don't feel like you're stuck in a situation where you're just asking God, like, what the fuck? What do I do? What direction do I go in? Because I know this is the practical way. And that's what I was thinking about before I was getting back to when I was shuffling um, before I turned the camera on. It's like you want to do the right thing. You want to do what is going to make you happy. But the route the ways in which you make that wish come true is it from you or is it coming from someone else that came before you that feel like they know best for you that you're and you're not resonating with their message you're not resonating with that path you need to focus on your star okay and why is this so hard for you because this is something you've never done before this is something that's brand new and as inventive and as unique and different to circumstances and situations you walk in and you create or become and evolve with other people into this is something that is still brand new to you which means that you still have a lot of growth to do and that can make you feel nervous that can make you fearful that can make you afraid because the the path you're embarking on is completely unknown to you and who knows what the fuck can happen right who knows how this is going to turn out who knows if it's actually going to pay off or pay off or not pay off for you because it's so it's something that's so different and we're in the age of aquarius where we're meant to use the information that we were given okay to raise us to new heights okay your intuition is telling you that this is something new that you need to do that you're going to learn so much from this journey and it may not be all you know ice creams and gumdrops but it'll be way worth it in the end to follow your own path stay on your own path aquarius okay how can you hack this we have the three of cups okay um it's time for you to commune with your angel guides your ancestors those ascended ancestors of the 5d commune with those who are like-minded Com commune with those who've already done it okay commune with those who have the knowledge of what you're trying to do and allow that to fill you up allow that to cause you to celebrate being you being different being unique and and knowing that you are on the right path, you just may need to speak or be around people who've already done the work, who've already made the decision and have and have manifested from those um, seeds fruits. They've already bore their fruits and doing something that's very different and unique, even if it's something you don't know um, shit about. Um, OK, you could be um, looking into doing something that has to do with um, a nonprofit organization and going a completely different route than someone else um they usually take okay but you may come across someone who's a chemist and they created a business based on their use of their chemistry and but they took a different path and that's the thing you want to pay attention to is who chose to take a different path from everyone else four 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 in the clock okay this path that you're being guided on that's only meant for you 
is for your protection. So don't have to worry about looking back unless you're looking back and being happy that you chose not to take the path that everyone else took because it was safe, okay? Because it, 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 it made sense. It was practical, okay? You live in the stars. You live in the sky. You live beyond all of that. So you need to commune with those um, species <laughs> of the light and of, you know, who are, who are specifically here to assist you on your path. You need to commune, commune with those people or those energies the most, okay? Because they already know what it is that's going to make you happy and make you satisfied on your journey. So what advice do you have for Aquarius energy in regards to this Mars and Cancer transit? Okay. Self-reliance. Isn't this very Aquarian? Okay, you are on a path that you are walking that no one else has walked before. And I feel like it's more like familial. No one in your family has walked a path like this before. Whether it's the actual career path you have or it's the actual path that you're choosing to take. And other people are in the same career field as you. Regardless of what it is, you are unique to your situation in comparison to the people who are in your immediate circle. And that's okay. All right, continue to reach out and seek and ask spirit to guide you to those who are on the same frequency and vibration as you are that is trying to produce what is going to help heal this world to go to the next vibration because that's where we already at. Ciao, baby. And that is Aquarius's reading. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>